just hang on a second. We can move this. Control, left click, and hold. That way you guys can actually see Questy. <laughs> so we know where we're actually at with quests. <laughs> Alright. Guys are coming back. Some classic WoW tonight. Because... Mario Wonders not till Friday, and we're not starting anything else that's new, so it's either this or Winter Todd, and I don't really want to do the, uh, I don't really want to do the, um, Final Fantasy XIV stuff until the weekend, because that's going to take more time to work on, so that'll be in the evening on the weekend I'll play around with that, because then the guys will be around to do the raids and such. I'm going to be careful. I did my nails today, and I don't want them ruined. Burn, burn, Alright, so we gotta get Jasper Load and Mine done, but we are only level 7. Picked up all my professions except cooking. I did not grab cooking, but we can grab cooking back in Goldshire. I think we need to do the farms. I think the farms are the next place to go. We need to get some levels. With my shovel. <laughs> Spexia Spexifier, the legendary paladin. What weapon was she known for? Used a shovel, sir. What? <laughs> so Remy's got another quest. Yeah, there's a level. Yeah, everything's level six there. Yeah, that's that's a higher level stuff. Yeah, and we're not going out there just yet. Yeah, we gotta go down and go do the McClures and the Stone Fields. I just noticed that, that the up button is now yellow. I know what those two for Northshire are, and those are a quest much later on. It's a level 30 quest. Just happens to take you back into Northshire Abbey. We didn't actually miss anything more. We'll grab Remy's quest, and then we'll go do the farms, and then we should be closer to... Level 9-ish? I just know scouting Jasper load's gonna be... Puff. Let's stop and do cooking first, though. I know we can do that right here. Good day to you. Train me, please. See you around. What can I help you with? Go with honor, friend. Probably my favorite song in the entire WoW soundtrack. The Lion's Pride Inn. Oh, I didn't know that. Apparently there was a flint and tinder tool in simple wood for the basic campfire. I remember being told stories about the, um... About needing a lantern for Duskwood. I, re I remember that. I was told about that. That did not make it out of beta. Or meat, stringy wolf meat. Isn't there like a bread? Or was that added later? I'd love to collect this. Dirge's kick and chimera, chimera rock chops. Be a cool one to go actually get. Huh. 
I could have sworn there was an herb, uh, herb bread or whatever it was. Maybe that got added later on, and I'm Safe just travel. not aware that that was not a vanilla item. I buy and trade. Be careful. Maybe we can't do the cooking right away, then. I thought we could- I used to be able to just boost it to 40. Like, instantly. Quite nice. It was like, I think, mild spices and, uh... Something else. What can I do for you? There's a way to do it, though. We can train fishing with cooking, then. A raw, brilliant small fish recipe. Alright, Spexia, there is a new threat in Elwyn Forest. Murlocs are swimming up the streams of eastern Elwyn, scaring away fish, attacking gentlefolk. I warned Marshal Dugan, but he's more worried about gnolls than the bandits. He's not convinced that Mur the Murlocs are a danger. Please, Spexia, speak to Dugan and persuade him to send more troops to the east. Have a good one. Alright. What can I do for you? For the Alliance. Yes, I spoke with Remy. I respect him as much as a merchant, though all reports of murlocs to the east have been sketchy at best. Your concerns are noted, but unless I receive a military report of a murloc threat, I can't afford to send more troops east. Go with honor, friend. If you are concerned that the rumors of murlocs are true, then do this. Travel to the Eastern Rowan Bridge and speak with Guard Thomas. He's been stationed at the bridge for the past week and will know the state of the area. Bring me his report. Life bless you. Alright, so yeah, that one's also a level 10 quest, so we'll head down to the farm then. And I think I need... I don't know if it's water or milk that I need to bring for that daily quest down there. Well, it says daily, it's repeatable. I think it's water. If not, then we'll come back and get milk. It's been a very long time since I've done these quests. Nope, oh, that's... Wrong combination. Ooh, our first ore node. I'm not gonna be able to get the ones down in the uh, cave, but... Failed attempt. Huh. Oh, wait a minute. You mine the ore node multiple times. Alright. Professions... Gathering worked differently, apparently, back then. This is new. I've never done the gathering on the actual classic, classic servers. Well, that's interesting. You don't get it all in one go. You hit it multiple times. And the attempts can fail. Certainly different. Certainly uh, an age past. A, di a different time. Is it Billy or Gerard? What can I do for you? Farming is thirsty work, and I'm always looking for refreshing spring water. If you have any, then I'm willing to make a trade. See you later. Come back here and trade again. Have a good one. You can trade him water for an apple. Huh. Interesting. What quest is over here? I need water. Maybell McClure. Hello. 
Oh, I'm cursed. My heart belongs to Tommy Joe Stonefield, but our families are bitter enemies. I can't see him, even though my eyes ache to gaze upon that handsome face. Please take this letter and give it to Tommy Joe. He's usually at the river to the west of the Stonefield farm, which is due west of here. See you later. Maybell's love letter. Can you read this? You can. Tommy Joe, with each passing hour, my heart withers from your absence. Oh, if only our folks could see beyond the silly crimes that they, they have done to each other and know they, that the only true crime is hate. Hate consumes, and I fear in these dimming times that hate will take hold of more than just our families. If they realize this, then we could at long last be together. It is for that day I hope, and for that day I live. Your love, Maybell. It's sappy, but it's cute. All the way to Tommy Joe. I don't like it. It's cold. Quests over here, though. No. We outran him. It doesn't matter. He's gone. Ma Stonefield. The Brackwells of a prize-winning pig, Princess. That sow is huge, and she got that way from sneaking over here and eating my veggies. Before she comes to our fields, Princess must die. Bring me her collar as proof of the deed, and I'll give you something for your time. Princess is usually over at the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch, the east and beyond the McClure Farm. Get there before she gets hungry and comes back here. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna go to another farm and kill their pig. Safe travels. Hey there. Auntie Bernice Stonefield. I lost my necklace, and I think that gutter tonight, Billy McClure took it. He's usually scuttling like a rat around the McClure vineyards east of here. Get my necklace back for me, and I'll and you'll warm an old old widow's heart. Have a good one. Okay. Hey there. See you later. See you later. Where is Tommy Joe? There he is. What's his, what's his handsome face look like? Hang on. Oh, yeah, he's kind of a Chad. All right, I'll give her that. Guys, built like a fucking something? Giga Chad over here. You have what? Maybe is the light of my dull life. Hurry, let me see her letter. Safe travel. I can't stand us being apart. I have to see her. See you around. Please, Spexia, talk with my grandma. If anyone can find a way to bring me together with Maybell, she can. She's inside our house east of here. See you later. Let's go talk to Grandma Stonefield. Grandma can fix it all. Oh, I gotta go way over there to kill Princess? Holy shit. Need help? While our families are feuding, Tommy, Joe, and Maybell don't have much of a future, but maybe we can get them together for just a little while. Hmm. What can we do? Be careful. I bet William Pestle's a potion to unite our two young lovers. Here, take this note to William. He's staying at the Lion's Pride Inn in Goldshire. Go with honor. Okay, Grandma. Grandma's notes say. Hello, William. It's been years since we've spoken, but I trust you and your brother are well and that your apothecary thrives. I must ask a favor for you, William. In short, my grandson Tommy Joe has lost his heart to young Maybell McClure, and although they adore each other, our families, well, our families have been feuding for years. Fear the war between the Stonefields and the McClures will kill Tommy Joe and Maybell's blossoming romance. In times like these, where dark news and rumors of war loom over us, youth and love must be nurtured. So, the favor I ask that you use your skills and concoct a potion or elixir to get these young lovers in their quest for each other. Thank you, William. And please, when you have some time away from work, come visit. We'll have a few chuckles over the past. Mildred. Mildred Stonefield. 
That is a fucking powerful name. That is a, that is a woman with authority. Her name has presence. And it's a name that alone strikes fear into the hearts of men. There are few people you don't cross. One of those types of people is a matriarch. Never cross the matriarch. Big mistake. You, you will regret- you will come to regret that decision. There are few people more powerful than matriarchs. You lost a what? Well, I didn't take no necklace because I ain't no thief. Might know who did, but I'm too hungry to remember. Maybe if I got a pie, I could tell you who has that necklace. And you know, I think that old Bernice lady at the other farm makes great pork belly pies. If you gave her some chunks of boar meat from the boars that hang around our farms and told her what it was for, she'd bake up a pie for you. Clever, kid. Clever. One chunk of more meat. That still be charging. Oh, I can see this being really good if I had like Crusade on my uh. my weapon, but you definitely gotta, like, cycle. The idea is definitely to cycle your seals. You're not supposed to just use one. I don't know if the, uh... I don't know if that's actually the way you want to do that. Seal the Crusader. Unleash unleashing the seal's energy will judge an enemy for 10 seconds, increasing holy damage by up to 20. Melee strikes will refresh the spell's duration. Only one judgment per paladin can be active at any one time. Hmm. So that adds up to 20 holy damage taken. But I have to deal holy damage. Which Seal of Righteousness adds holy damage. Yeah, it might be better to do it that way. That might be the way it wants me to do that. So yeah, then we want to have... So you want to Seal the Crusader, Judge, then put Righteousness up, and then Auto Attack. Okay, I think I, think I got it now. I think I figured it out. I think that's what it wants me to do. Does it refresh itself? Hang on. Let me see that again. Oh, it does. You only have to apply it once, really. As long as you keep attacking. Oh, okay. Take this to Bernice. I think it's right feeding the boy who stole my necklace in the first place, but if that's what it takes to get back what's mine, then so be it. You have that boar meat. Safe travels. 
Does this wild boar meat is tough, simmered enough, and it sure does make for some tasty pie. See you around. Here you go. Now when you give the pie, this pie to that Billy, you tell him I hope he chokes on it. See you later. It's like ten. But fair, I mean the kid's extorting her for a pie. For a necklace he apparent allegedly no longer has. That he stole. I like these little like one-off side chains that we run into like this, like like the farm here. is isn't really part of like the overall story of Elwyn, but it's it's a fun little world like a little world story quest. It kind of has like its own little side story here. Give that pie for me. Yo, this pie is the best. I think my memory is coming back to me. Play into the Fargo Deep Mine, and I think I dropped a... I mean, I saw the old lady's necklace. Don't ask me how it got there. It wasn't me. Well, anyway, I saw this big gold tooth kobold pick up the necklace and run into the mine. Find that kobold and you'll find the necklace, I swear. Oh boy, we have to go fight our way through the Fargo Deep Mine. Oh boy. Oh, that's gonna be rough. Bent large shield. I wonder if using judgment while Mark of the Crusader is up on my target removes Mark of the Crusader. Or Judgment of the Crusader, rather, I guess is what it would be called. I can't tell because when I do actually hit them with it while it's up, they die. I guess we are going to mine some down in the Fargo Deep Mines, since we have to go down there. Probably going to run into some nodes anyway. Chat, I see another chest. I see a chest. The chest is ours. 100%. Yeah, I need water. I need water in the game now. Are right, we good? Guys aggro from a fucking million miles away when you pick up on a chest, don't they? What's in the box? They have full inventory, apparently. Uh, I didn't realize we also didn't go back and talk to William Pestle. I think he sends you back to Fargo to eat mine again. Could be doing two quests at the same time instead of separate quests at separate times. Let's go back to Goldshire. I'm gonna keep the hearthstones. I'm probably gonna hearth out of the mine once we're done with the mine. Mm. 
very tired today. Not that we're gonna go super late tonight. I don't think we're going very super super low, super duper late tonight because I am definitely already fading and it's only 9.30. I'm drifting. Turn that setting back on. Is there a new paladin ability? We did hit level seven earlier. King's honor, friend. Or just alliance. divine protection. Just divine protection. What can I do for you? A note from Grandma Stonefield, eh? I haven't seen Mildred in years. I wonder what she has to say. Have a good one. My heart goes out to those two poor souls, Maybelle and Tommy Joe. I remember being young and in love once. There must be something I can do to help them. Let me think. See you around. I make an invisibility liquor for Maybelle so she can slip away from the McClure Vineyards and go to Tommy Joe. To make the liquor, I need some crystal kelp. The kelp usually grows in the ocean. Sometimes murlocs collect it. Do the murlocs near Crystal Lake have any? So like it's just east of Goldshire. Safe travel. We'll get some four crystal kelp fronds from the Murlocs in the Crystal Lake. Kind of bunched up. This could get pretty dangerous pretty quickly, huh? Still doesn't answer my question because it keeps killing them. Hmm, this could be bad. Saved. Nope, saved. Not dead. Don't know how I'm not dead, but we had seven HP there. <laughs> had that iconic, iconic gurgling. <laughs> oh, okay, it doesn't consume it. Good to know. What's up, Galactic? How's it going, dude? How you done? Ooh. Not much. Ah, we'll do some of the story stuff on uh, WoW Classic here to kill some time when Mario Wonder comes out on Friday. 
I don't really want to start anything else with like a day and a half worth of time to go until that comes out. Whew. Gotta get out on this weekend and do the rest of the story for 14 has never finished it. I was too busy playing Dredge. Alright, we want more Crystal Frond, Mr. Murloc. We start an Uwu Prog this Saturday? Good luck. Don't, uh, don't let yourself go crazy on that. But good luck. I expect to hear from- I expect to hear about a W when you're done with it. You know, I wanna- I wanna go back and finish up my, uh... My other couple of relics I haven't finished up yet. Get caught up on those. If I do that between uh, Mario Wonder and uh, the league starting up for old school RuneScape. I know the new league show starts up, I think, close to the same time the new patch comes out for retail. I'm going back and forth on if I want to do Ninja or Stay Reaper. I say whichever one you're more comfortable with. I wouldn't necessarily I wouldn't necessarily cha change what class you're playing just for the sake of damage throughput. I would say whichever one you're just more comfortable with. Hey there. That's always that's how I always did it. As I always played better with what I was comfortable with rather than just what automatically always did more damage. So I've always stayed rep paladin. It's because it's like, yeah, I could play other classes that do more damage than a rep paladin, but I'm really comfortable at rep paladin. That's why the only other class I'll really ever like play play for damage is probably Frost Death Knight. Because I'm good at it. Give that crystal kelp. I'm sure Maybell is anxious to see her bow. Go. You got them. Good show. Now, just one moment while I concoct the potion. See you later. Shouldn't take long. There's a fly in here. Visibility liquor is ready for you, Spexia. Oh, there we go. Good, good target. You. Take this invisibility liquor to young Maybell. Should last long enough for her to visit Tommy Joe. Have a good one. Is that damage you care about in this choice? Oh. Well, yeah, it's just picking whichever one you like the most, then, I think, at that point, then, right? Might be with you. Go with honor, friend. <sighs> at that point, it just sounds like it's just preference. That's why I've stayed. I mean, that's why I've stayed scholar for so long and not switched to other healers. It's entirely because I just prefer the way scholar plays. Now that I realize that Expedient has a twenty percent damage reduction on it, it's not just a movement speed buff; it's a fucking group defensive. I get like three of those as a scholar. It's awesome. I just forget that it does that half the time because I'm not often doing level 90 content. I'm so often in the group or in the roulettes for the lower levels. What is your reasoning then for being an indecided, undecided, undecided? Good day it's late. To you. Did my letter to Tommy Joe? What did he say? Have a good one. Oh my, I feel guilty for deceiving my family, but my feelings for Tommy Joe are too strong to ignore. Thank you, Spexia. I'll drink this liquor as soon as I have the chance to sneak away to my love. And for you, please take this. Save Five travel. healing potions and we just hit level eight. All right, so now we have to fight our way down. Like, our goody mine. Now we get to killing.
Oh, hang on, there's a mining node. Detour! So I'm still working on getting my muscle memory for Ninja, but also Reaper is at 70. It is just the 1, 2, 3 combo and the occasional OG CD while Ninja has more of its rotation. Ah, that's fair. Ninja is more complex to play, so if you're looking for more buttons to play, Ninja is definitely your option. I'm, I'm definitely, uh, I don't really care for very lengthy, heavy button rotations. I like simpler, there's only a few buttons I have to press in particular orders rotations. So I always liked Summoner. Summoner, people would, oh, Summoner's got a 72 button rotation. It was six buttons you had to hit in a particular order. That's what the rotation actually was. Summoner didn't have 72 abilities. <laughs> There's just a particular way you had to press the buttons. That's why I liked it. Yeah. Now it's a little too simple, and I'm not really a big fan of it anymore. I still play it, but it's hard for me to want to main it. One of those I hope it sees a little bit of iteration, honestly. I don't mind the change in theming, I mind the change in gameplay. <sighs> Gimli is a priest. Looking for a razor for a crawl. Interesting. I need more men. Last I checked, Gimli was a, uh, a warrior in Lord of the Rings. is back. I'm just hopeful that the next time they do any kind of like ability reworks and stuff for classes, they don't change and like completely remove entire gameplay loops out of classes again. I think a lot of the classes play really well the way they're at, and I don't really want them to change that. Not unless they're gonna, like, move off of the two-minute GCD window thing. It'd be the only time I'd be okay with them changing stuff, because if that's the case, then that means they're changing, you know, encounter design as well. I feel like a lot of the uh, classes play very nicely the way they are, and I'd rather them not change that. For most of them. Like, don't touch Gunbreaker. Leave that alone. Don't touch any of the tanks. All the tanks are fine. Don't touch any of the tanks anymore. Change none of that. All of them, are, they work all fine. Don't do anything else. Every time you do anything else now at this point, you keep making it worse. Stop touching them.
One thing I'd probably want to see is the uh, change the combo abilities to like what they are in PvP. I think that would make probably everybody happy. Except purists. Purists will be really mad about it. Although I guess for things like Samurai and Dragoon, that wouldn't make a lot of sense, because it'd be hard to change how those buttons function. Like, how would you know which version of what button is what? They'd have to have individually separate icons you press. I do like like that WoW has done something like that now, though, with, uh, with Rep Paladin, because uh, Crusader Strike gets an ability that's like that now. Where uh, you press it once and then it changes to another button that you can use in a short second, a short time period. I really like it. I, I absolutely prefer that uh, that particular talent choice on my paladin on on the Dragonflight version of the game. I think that version is really good. It obviously doesn't work for every situation. But, like, the tanks could definitely benefit from that. Like, you don't really need the Gunbreaker 3 combo on three separate buttons, really. I can see that being whittled down to a one-button shifter button. And I think most people would probably be okay with it. I know Warrior has a similar setup. I think Warrior has a second button you can press that I get as a two combo. I think it has, two, like, it has, like, the, uh, the spicy chicken, and then there's the, uh, the regular, the original chicken. For, food, for an easy food example. You can get the number 8 combo with the uh, the crispy chicken, or you can get it as a spicy chicken. So I think there's the one there's the one ability that's like it's normal rotation, and there's one that's like hit this button, and now you're reducing their are you basically putting fairy fire or armor break up on them? I don't remember. Something something like that, I'm thinking. I think there's just there's some interesting ways to implement some stuff but not necessarily do it everywhere kind of things there's gold tooth 14's got a lot of a lot of potential sitting on the table I just hope they do it the right way ah, I wanted to only grab the one I only wanted to grab gold tooth because I didn't want it to fight two but it's okay Worst case, I'm pretty sure I have a potion. Yeah, I have several. We'll let Gold Tooth come back. There he is. That's bad. A lot of mana. Oh, okay, we're good. Saved. Get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of this mine. Keep being down here, man. The Jasper won't load one's not nearly as bad. Jasper load one isn't nearly as bad. That one, however, that one sucks. How are you? Safe Trick or crowd. treat. Oh, treat bag. What I get? Hollowed one ghost. Oh. I don't want that. You can bob for apples? I didn't notice you could interact with us. Bobbing apple. 
Yo! Those are pretty good. I supply only the finest goods. I don't think we really need the Light potions flesh. anymore at this point. I think we're doing alright. I think we're doing okay. Let's go see if we get new abilities. I can probably smelt my copper real quick here. Hang on. It'll, it just stays copper. That's fine. Well, no, hang on. We can always run it back. We can always run it back. I'm not going to be on too, too long tonight after all. Fucking F099 song stuck in my head tonight. Why is there no music playing in the forge? Ambiance? <laughs> I'm at 21 mining, that's pretty good. Greetings. Oh, dude, we can parry now? Purify. Purify the friendly target, removing a disease and a poison effect. Taking this would be good. I don't think interrupts really exist, so a hammer of justice is probably worth training in as well. Be careful probably also pretty good. We got Purify now. Put it on square. I'll put it on this square because we don't need that second bar there. Put the Hammer of Justice on triangle. Oh, there's parry. I have a 4.96% chance to parry right now. What governs that? I don't know. I think it's just its own separate skill. Okay. Mm -hmm. Down to that farm, turn in gold tooth. I think I might go ahead and start, uh, like, we start to fall behind in levels, and really starts to, like, ooh, okay. I think we'll, we'll go up to, uh, we'll take the Deep Run Tram up to Dunmoreau, and we'll do the dwarf quests up there. We'll help out the dwarves and the gnomes a bit. So I know there's a point in Westfall where the quests suddenly spike from, like, level 14 to, like, level 17. And it's like, oh. I think it happens again in Duskwood and Red Ridge. There might be a point where we have to, uh... Take a vacation and uh, go do a couple of other quests and then come back later. How are you? You found my necklace. See you, oh, you found it. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Here, take this. It's my husband's, and he always said it was lucky. Only he didn't forget it on his last campaign. Have a good one. The lion stamped gloves. Well, they're not better than what I'm wearing, unfortunately. So is that that finishes up that. The only thing we have to do for the arm still is the four. It wants us to go out there next. Woof. Okay. Well. Guess we'll run out there real quick. Of 
quest, it just hasn't updated itself. It still shows I have Golden Tooth in my log, but it's not there no more. Dugan wants us to do the Jasper Load Mine. I might be able to do that. I don't know what level those guys are at. I might be able to go in there and do that one next. Well, let's take a walk. Do Bear with me. Make our way across the entirety of Elwyn Forest. Which is a bit of a walk. Yeah, I think I'll make that trek. Either off stream or next time. I'm actually getting kind of tired. So, I think I'm gonna call it there for right now. <laughs> 